Driving nails, you, you want to actually use um, uh, your wrist to hammer the nails, and I don't have a hammer handy here to show you, but students tend to want to push the nails in with this motion, mm -hmm. where, the, where the arm should pretty much stay still and it should be all wrist. That way you're not likely to bend the nails. If you're pushing the nail in, you're likely to bend it. So short strokes. When you start the nail, you should start the nail right in the center of the nail hole and feel the, the hoof wall and, and get your aim in on, onto the angle of the hoof wall. Sometimes you can even place your finger where you want it to come out, and that's your aiming mechanism. And you start with light taps to make sure the nail is started and going where you want, and then when you feel secure that you have the right direction on the nail, you should, you should actually start hitting harder to make the bevel on the end of the nail work and exit where you want. If you keep hitting light taps, it's not likely to exit in most cases. Well, number one, they're, you know, they're lining the shoe up. They have a hammer, a shoe, a horse's foot, and a horse nail, and they only have two hands. <laughs> and so learning how to balance all that and juggle it and position the shoe where it's not going to move, that's the hardest thing to teach is to position the shoe properly so it doesn't, it's not twisted one way, moving back, pushing sideways. And, uh, and part of that is being able to relax. I have to tell my students just relax, which is a hard thing to do when they're driving their first nails. It's, it's very exciting and um, they're trying to do the job right, but um, it, the fact that they don't relax is what makes them work against themselves. So you've got to relax and breathe and follow the step-by-step -step like I outlined earlier, and it really does work if, if you can do that.